Yeah, and I'd like to say, you know, take these home and put them on an altar and just really spend time every day looking at them and treat them as if they're an oracle. I mean, really see the different aspects of them and things that kind of emerge, new, you know, new relationships between the different images that you've used and how those relate to you. I mean, treat them with reverence because, I mean, this is really from the muses mm -hmm. and... Uh, I think you were probably channeling something, some high, higher energy, so respect yeah. it. And even if it, you know, physically doesn't seem finished or anything, I mean, you can, of course, go home and work on it more, but maybe there needs to be some space or... Mm. Yeah. So also, um, one of my things is when I do readings for people, I either, if they don't have a deck of their own, I send them the images of the cards that came up in the reading. And I have them lay out the cards, much like the spread that we did together, in a place that is altar-like, if not an altar. And I ask them to just visit it every day. And if they feel like they've accomplished a piece within the reading, and it's represented by one of the cards, then I have them take the card out of the reading. It's done. It's complete. There's still a little bit left to work on mm -hmm. and enjoy. And so then when they're, they've removed all the cards, then the reading is, then the reading's finished. Mm -hmm. yeah. so it's not finished when we are mm -hmm. done with our conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm.